this is to all my people that are going after something that's not the conventional job or career. Uh, I just want to tell you that if somebody tells you that you need to give up, you haven't made it and you have and you're not gonna, I'm here to tell you that you can keep going. You don't have to listen to them. They may not be proud of you, but I'm proud of you. And I'm reminding myself, I'm proud of myself. And sometimes people say they do it because they love you and they're giving you tough love or talk because you need to hear what they have to say. Um, I used to like get very defensive about it, like, Oof, I used to be like, let me fucking tell you something. And you know what? Now, I don't need to respond like that. That's simple. Thank you. That's all that needs to be said. So I don't know if you came across this video having a day where you're like, what am I doing? Because as someone that's in the creative field myself, I'm a comedian. I've been a comedian for 25 years. Um, and I'm not just a comedian. I do a lot of different things. But it's hard to explain to people. And for me, it's... I'm going to be 46 in just a few days. And you know what I'm not going to take into 46? Other people's opinions. Holding weight into my decisions. Now, granted, I mean, <laughs> you know, if my husband and I have to make decisions together, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about what other people's opinions of what you've decided to do with your life, especially if it's to follow a dream or to... And also, I also want to point out that just because, like for me, comedy is very like, oh, that person's made it, they're famous. There are a lot of working comedians that are doing well that you might not know, and that's for any business. There's people in all businesses like this guy. Everybody should know about this guy or this woman. Everybody should know about this woman. But we don't because of certain things. But doesn't mean that they haven't been successful. So I honestly, it's taken me a long time to celebrate my own story. And, you know, I just had an experience where... A family member really had some terrible things to say out of love. So I'm here to say that I don't have to make that my story. It's been my story for a long time. It just kind of gave me evidence that it is my story. But I don't... That, that story I've been telling myself is not delusional. It is real actual evidence, especially after this conversation I just had with him. But it doesn't have to continue that way. I can change the story I tell myself. And that's what we're going to work on for this. We're going to start with this month. Like July, since it's my birthday. You know what I'm going to do for this birthday month? I'm going to change the story I tell myself. I'm going to work on my perspective. So, it's July 1st. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> okay, bye.